Hi, welcome to my channel, Blue Lady Thrifting. Please like, share, and subscribe. Today's video is a haul video from several trips to the Menagerie. The Menagerie is a local thrift store. It might be one of my favorites, and all the proceeds go to the Animal Welfare League. So I consider the Menagerie like a one-stop thrift shop because you can always find something in a wide variety of things. Today's video doesn't have any clothing in it. I'll save that for another video, but let's get started with all these nice hard goods. One of the first things I found was this right here. It's a California art pottery serving basket. Open weave, yellow, oval, bread, fruit, decorative bowl. Now I paid $4 for this and I'll show you the other side. If you can see, it does have markings there that you have to really put under the light to see, but it is um, made in California. And um, looking these up, I found that they sell for about $50. So turning $4 into 50 is really good. And another disclaimer, most of the items on the table are 20% off because I usually go on Fridays where it's 55 and older is senior day. So you get a 20% discount. All right, next were lots of mugs. Look at all these different mugs that I got. It was every time you go, you find a few mugs. So I picked them up, but let's start with these right here. These are um, Hallmark. So you've got the red, I mean the green plaid, paid $1.99 for them, and the red plaid. So these together would sell for about um, $12 to $24. So about $6 to $12 each. That's how much those would go for. They're from 2021, like coffee soup mugs. The next mug was this Starbucks one. I didn't see, really notice that it was a Starbucks one until you, you know, look at the bottom. I only paid a dollar for it, but I liked the mermaid. There she is, winking mermaid. Um, it would sell for about 10 to $25 for that Starbucks mug. Right, another mug is this one right here. It's a hand-thrown art pottery thumb grip coffee mug. So there's your thumb grip. Um, speckled glaze uh, with a brown and blue stripe. It is not signed. I only paid 50 cents for it because green tag was half price and it would sell for about six to $12. All right. Another mug is this Otagiri looking one. So that speckled glaze and the painted hand painted flower reminds me of Otagiri. Let's see if it says anything on the bottom. Nope, it doesn't say anything. It was only 49 cents, and these mugs sell for about 5 to $10. All right, some more mugs. I got a pair of these at two on two different trips. And what color is each word written? Can you do it? This is um, Mind, Mind Wear, and I only paid a dollar for this one and it re only resells for about $5, but I got two of them, so I was gonna make a set of two in the listing, so maybe that will sell better. Next mug was this right here, Tokyo Olympics 2020, I believe. Yep, only paid a dollar for this one, and it would resell for about $12, Tokyo 2020. All right, another mug was this um what athens i thought that was fun www.whatathens.com so it's like a travel you know souvenir mug what a city i only paid 49 cents for this one and none have sold but they're asking about um 10 to 18 dollars for this but i've been to athens i've been to those places so that was a fun mug and i like the colors the graphics all right, another couple of mugs. Let's do this one. This one is a Temptations mug, and I saw several of them in a, like one of those stackable with the wire container. It's got the heart inside, the pretty design. It is a Temptations mug. Um, what did I pay for it? I paid $2 for this one, actually. 
I don't know why. Maybe I thought I was going to give it to my mom for a present because she likes Temptations. But it only resells for about $5. So maybe I'll save it for Valentine's Day at the um, my shelf at, at the Gallery of Arts and Antiques where I don't have a booth yet, just a shelf. Last coffee mug is this Ray Dunn Home. Let's see, it's from the Magenta Collection. And let's see, what did I pay for it? $1.99. And it sells for about $10 to $20. All right, let's not forget about the baby blanket over here. You know I have to pick up these baby blankets because I just, I don't know, I just like them. My mom used to crochet and my aunts and my grandmother, so... That's probably why I picked them up. I only paid $4 for this one, and it would resell for about $15 to $20. But that's good for a girl or a boy. All right, let's talk about the purses. First up is this Tommy Hilfinger, I believe. Yep, Tommy Hilfinger. It's a faux leather bag, and I don't know its specific name or its specific style, but it's got the, the double handles, and I think that's all I paid, let's see, $6 for it. And it sells anywhere between $20 and $35. Nice. All right, and then back here is a Liz Claiborne. I believe it's called a hobo bag. So it's also faux leather. Um, blue. I paid $6 for that one. And new with tags, it's $44.99. It resells for about $32. Another purse was a Vera Bradley. You got to pick up the Vera Bradleys. My, I had a Vera Bradley thing and my sister and my mom and my nieces, we all liked Vera Bradleys. So for a good price, and this was only $3.99, it's, um, let's see, what did I write? I wrote the name down. It's Vera Bradley Glenna Shoulder Bag in Sun Valley. So that print is called Sun Valley. And this would resell for about $12 to $25. A couple more purses. This Apartment 9 with its faux leather and its floral. I paid $2.99 for this one. It's a smaller bag. It would resell for about $12 to $24 also. Then the last bag in this video is right here. It's also faux leather. It's like a, a light red color, um, but it does have real leather stitching there on the side. Paid $5 for this one. It is an INC, so International Concepts Cross Body Light Red Faux Leather Purse. It resells for about $12 to $28. All right, that's it for the purses. Let's move on to this lantern right here. Now, I think Sue convinced me to pick this up because she did work at um, Pier 1, and it is an actual Pier 1 lantern. So nice tea light lantern there with the toucan. It does have the tea light in there. And let's see on the bottom, it's got its sticker. It was originally $16 at Pier 1. I haven't seen this exact one for sale on eBay, but similar ones have sold for about $12 to $20. All right, right in front of that are some San Miguel um, Mexican recycled glass tumblers. So I got one tall tumbler for 99 cents, and then I got two short tumblers also for 99 cents. There, and they resell for about seven to ten dollars each, is what they resell for. I've gotten the plates and the bowls, and I actually have sold, I believe, all of the plates and the bowls. So now I've got a few glasses. All right, next up is this. It's not porcelain; it is ceramic, but it does have some age to it because it's. You can see the crazing there. Um, it's got the cherry blossoms. It's Japanese. It is signed. I paid $6 for the set. So the carafe and the four little teacups all signed. And let's see, what did I write? Japanese porcelain 
Guinimo, G-U-I-N-I-M-O, sake set. Um, Yukode, okay, I'm mispronouncing all these names. Y-O-K-O-D-E and then K-Y-U-S-U. This set resells for $20 to $30. So that was fun. All right, found some art glass. And even though it's got the nice controlled bubbles of Murano Bulacante, I don't believe this one is Bulacante. So you can see the bottom here. There's no pummel marker. If there was, it was, it's kind of strange. So it's not super nicely polished. But I believe that this is a vintage Indiana glass smoke gray Bulacante ruffled bowl. And it resells for about $12. I did pay $3 for it. All right, moving right along is this right here. I thought maybe it was um, Navajo, but it's actually Venezuelan. It is not marked or anything on the bottom. There used to be a sticker that is gone now. I only paid a dollar for it. It resells for about $12 to $22. And similar ones have sold for $12 to $22. It is a vintage Q-U-I-B-O-R, Lara, L-A-R-A, Venezuela clay art pottery terracotta seed bowl vase. That's what it is. Hmm. Research and you find it out. All right, this little guy is very cute. I've seen other ones for sale, but they don't have um, the paint anymore or the red little tie. The red little tie usually falls off. Um, he does have one little chip on the back because he is very old. Um, let's see on the bottom. He's just numbered, but I only paid 50 cents for him. He is a vintage Anarcho Japan anthropomorphic thick turtle with a top hat and tie and he resells for about twelve dollars right next up is this cute little trinket dish i love these little trinket dishes for putting on your bedside table and putting your earrings in or something i just like them a lot this one is handmade and signed it's got some texture to it only paid a dollar for it Got the nice dragonfly and the purple and the blue glaze. So this signed art pottery dragonfly trinkets dish in blue and purple resells for about ten to twenty dollars. That was fun. It's a fun find. All right. Next up is this wooden. I think it's wood. I mean, it's got wood grain, but it's very lightweight. So I'm not sure what kind of wood it is. I paid three dollars for it. It is painted, hand painted. Some people say it's in the style of Talavera, but I'm not sure about that. I paid $3 for it and similar um, handled serving plates like this sell for about $20. All right, next I found some Fiesta. So I paid $5 each for these Fiesta plates. I've got yellow, red, blue, and green, and I will probably keep these for my own collection, but I just wanted to show you them. Um, and I'll show you the back. I think they are the more newer ones. They're not the super old vintage ones with that capital F, but these um, sell for about $12 each. Now, if you find the great colors like, like light pink or lilac or chartreuse or radioactive red or flamingo pink, these sell for about $30 each. So those are the colors to watch out for. All right, let's move over this way to this fused glass. Now, I didn't realize it was signed because you really have to look for the signature. It's on the bottom. And let's see. Let's see if you can see it right, right there in the corner. It won't focus on it for you, but it there it goes. It is signed. So that's fun. Signed art glass. This iridescent bowl. I only paid $3 for it and it would sell for about $35. So that was fun. All right. Next is this right here. Um, this is actually Belgium milk glass. So on the bottom, 
I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it does say Belgium on the bottom. And it's got a really nice seal and pretty um, cherry blossoms there. Um, so Belgian Milk Glass Apothecary Jar. And the sticker is missing. So, you know, it's the menagerie. So they probably only charged me a dollar or two for it. And it resells for about $20 to $30. All right, let's move next door to this fish. This angel fish shaped plate. It is actually Pier 1 and it originally sold for $8. And I paid $2 for this one and it only really resells for about $8 as well. But I liked it. Never know, it might end up in the lake house, the one day lake house. All right, behind this, I didn't, wasn't for sure if the lid actually went with the bowl, but it does fit perfectly. I liked the green color, I liked the texture, and I liked that it wasn't chipped or broken. I paid $2 for it, and like I said, I couldn't find specifically who makes this, but I really liked it as a candy dish or a vanity dish, and it resells for about $20 to $25, some lower ones. Um, the other ones aren't so dark emerald green. Most of them are a lighter green. All right, next up is this UPS mug. Now, my brother-in-law works at UPS, so that's why I got this. I don't know whether he would like it or not, but it's made in the USA. I paid $1 for it, and it actually only resells for about $6 to $17, but still, only paid a dollar for it, and it might be a gift. might end up being a gift. All right, behind that are a bunch of ducks, a bunch of wooden wooden ducks. Now this one I believe is the most popular style, whatever this guy is. Let's turn him upside down so you can see. He is a, what is he? A red-breasted Mergenzer. Oh, these are miniatures um, by Heritage Ducks. And how much did I pay for this guy? I paid $3.75 for him. And he would resell for about, well, the unbranded ones sell for about $100. Um, if it was Don Brittle, they, or Bridell, they sell for $325. A Harry Job's one has sold for $155. So apparently that style is the most popular one. And so maybe we can get $100 for him. The one behind it is also, I believe, one of those heritage ducks. Let's not break anything. What is it? Yep, same kind. So this guy I paid $5.25 for, and he's not as popular. He is handcrafted in um, Canada. Um, he would resell for about $20 to $25. And then this guy looks like a smaller version of him. Um, green winged teal what that one's called um paid 375 for this one and would resell for about 20 to 25 and then this guy back here is a little bit different he is a hen mallard paid 375 for him he would only sell for about 10 to 12 dollars and then the big one back here that looks like a swan or i don't know what it looks like to me it looks like a swan to me it is a canada goose and I paid $5.75 for this one, and it would sell for about $20 to $25 as well. So those are all the ducks, and they might make an appearance at the shelf at the Gallery of Arts and Antiques, maybe. Right now I have all the shorebirds at the Gallery of Arts and Antiques, and if they don't sell there, then I will list them on eBay. All right, if you're still with me on this video, because it's getting a little bit long, it's gonna be a little bit longer, um, please leave a comment. Tell me what was your favorite item that I picked up um, and give me a like and a share. It helps my channel grow. But up next is probably one of my favorites because it's blue. It is a um, signed art pottery chip and dip set and I only paid 99 cents each for these. So you can see maybe the signature right there, but I liked the glaze, I liked the color, I liked the style. 
there's this signature and the 99 cent price tag so that was great like i'm really tempted to keep this one because i just like the color and i do love art pottery but let's see where did i put my thing okay it would resell for about 30 to 40 dollars no chips no cracks it's in perfect condition so that was a fun find all right behind that um, I think I found this before and I thought it was like Mexican, but it is not. It is actually Japanese and it says made in Japan right there. It's very vintage. You can see all that crazy, but I like the hand painted flowers that match the flowers on the side. I paid $2.99 for this. It's like a cookie or a biscuit jar. It is very sticky because it's had lots of tape around it so the lid wouldn't come off but the lid is like not broken I only see one tiny little hairline crack right there I just liked it I like the colors so Japanese hand-painted floral biscuit cookie jar with lid and would resell for about 20 to 25 dollars all right and then way back here is a metal like jewelry stand like in the shape of a vine I paid $2.99 for it. It is not marked or anything on the bottom. These resell for about $25 to $35, but I may keep it because I'm actually putting together a Blue Lady She Shed Curiosity Shop in my garage. So I have my garage has been, my side of the garage has been taken over and I'm going to have a sale um, hopefully in the fall it will be my first sale. I have to get it all organized. All right, next up are these cats. I believe they're both cats. I thought maybe one was a cat and one was a dog, but with those whiskers, I'm thinking they're both cats. They are hands made and hand painted like um, country primitive maybe. I paid $5 each for them. I'll show you the back just stapled with his whiskers there. Let's see, what did I write how much they would go for? So I paid $5 each for them and they would sell for about 14 to $24 each. But I may put them as a pair. We'll see how that goes. All right, next up, another Fiesta find. So this is the first picture that I found and it was in the case at the menagerie. It's like this dark plum purple color and you can barely see the Fiesta mark on the bottom because it is so dark, but it is there. I shined a light on it and it is there. So that's like the disc pattern, I guess it's called. Let's see, what did I write? Fiesta 64 ounce large disc Fiesta wear pitcher in dark plum purple. Now this one would resell for about $50, but if you find it in the radioactive red or the lilac, the radioactive red sold for um, $100 and the lilac one sold for $150. So if you find those colors, you are in luck. All right, right in front of that is this little clown. Now I don't usually pick up clowns because I don't know how many people really like clowns, but I just thought this one was cute and well-made. He's got like fabric tie and fabric hair, but the rest of them seems to be made out of clay. He's got a fabric flower. He is um, marked on the bottom, 1983 Cecilia's Creations, and he is also signed Cecilia. So I paid $2 for this one, and it sells for about $5 to $15. Now, if you're looking for clowns, the Ron Lee clown sells for about $100, like $100 plus for the Ron Lee clowns. So if you're into clowns, that's what you could find. All right, next let's talk about this like splatter vase or pitcher. I liked the colors, it was fun. It's just got a number marking on the side. I paid $2 for it. It is a East Liverpool, Ohio art pottery vase, pearl china abstract glaze pitcher. Um, it sells for about $12 to $25, I'm thinking. People are asking up to $35 for them. And there is like a brown 
Juanita wear that they also do. All right, next is this cute little creamer and sugar. I believe it is like Bavaria, Germany. Let's see, Schumann. So that cute little flower pattern. I paid $2 each for them and they sell for about $28 for the set. So the sugar did have its lid and its handles not broken. So that was nice, it's cute. All right, next up, I actually got several of um, things from this natural life for my nieces for Christmas. So I picked this up because I recognized the brand. I paid a dollar for it and it sells for about eight to $12. It's just a little bud base. I didn't choose you, my heart did. And this is not a chip, it's just a glaze where the paint didn't go all the way on. All right, and then under that is this right here. So this lidded sugar and then the serving platter you can see under there with the blue, you know I had to get the blue. It is R.B. Bernarda made in Portugal. So these I paid $3, well I paid $3 actually for the um, sugar and it sells for about 12 or $13. And then it looks like I only paid 50 cents for the platter because it was 75% off orange sticker day. And it also would sell for about 12 or $13. All right, right next to that is this cased glass. I'm not sure if it's a vase or a lantern because it does have a handle, but I liked the glass. I liked, um, that it was had the metal around it. I just thought it was fun. You can see the bottom here. I'm not sure if it's hand blown or recycled glass or blown in mold because it does have the um, lines there so that you can put the, put the metal wire. But I thought that was very fun. Let's see, how much did I pay for this? I paid $5 for it and it resells for about $20. But I just liked that shape and I thought it was fun. All right, few more items. Thanks for keeping watching. Um, so I found some vintage um, Fenton white milk glass um, salt and pepper shakers with the hobnail. Now, let's see, this one, I don't know if you could tell, you see that little oval indentation right there? That is the Fenton mark, even though it doesn't say Fenton anymore because it's worn off. These are actually Fenton. So what did I pay for these? I think I paid $2 for the set and they resell for about $18. Right in front of that were these, they might be hobbyists, but they did a really good job on the eyes and they did a good job painting them because I think the other one is like marked with um, some somebody's name right there. They do have a bit of crazing, so they are vintage. I paid $1.99 for these and they only resell for about um, five to $10, but you never know, they might end up in my Easter decorations. All right, two more items and then we're done. Um, so this one right here is like a cut out um, copper, no, sorry, brass, made in India. It's got a modern sticker, but I like the pretty enamel colors. I paid $4 for this one and it sells for about 12 to $25. All right, last item. You made it all the way through the video. Good job, I'm very proud of you. All right, this is very heavy. That's why I was laying it down, but it's hand carved soapstone made in Kenya. It has its sticker there on the bottom. Let me carefully turn it around. Um, it, I paid $6 for it and it resells for about $30. So it is quite heavy. And let's see, I'll let you see how tall it is. It's, it's a pretty good size. It's got the nice elephant on it there. So I'll lay it back down so I don't break anything else. And that was everything from several trips to the Menagerie, my favorite thrift store, which I believe is like your one-stop thrift shop. You can find almost anything you're looking for. Well, thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. Please hit that thumbs up button. Um, give me a like and a share, leave a comment. That helps my channel grow. And of course, until next time, I thank you for watching.